Hello, everybody. Good morning to all. My name is Arun, and I'm from the Zoho pre-sales team. Today's session is about Zoho CRM integration with Zoho Sales IQ. So during this session, I'll be walking you through a brief comparison between traditional physical stores and online stores. And also, we'll discuss about the importance of tracking your website visitors and how Zoho is going to help you to achieve that, right? So let's just begin. Now, traditional versus online stores. Let's say you are the owner of the store. We own a traditional physical store, right? Every day we go there, we'll be at the store, and when someone enters the store, two things happen. There are two types of visitors. First one, it can be a new visitor, right? They might be entering the store for the first time. So what you can do is, uh, as a store manager or a store owner or a sales rep, you will see someone coming in. So you can see what they're doing. And you can help them to make a decision. For example, every time I'm here in this country, I like to go to Best Buy, right? So I, I like electronic stuff. So sometimes I go there uh, with some, something in my mind to buy something. Sometimes I go there just to... You know, just look around, right? So every time I go, within a few minutes, one of the sales reps will come and ask me, hey, how's it going? Is everything okay? So if I'm not planning to buy anything, I'd say, oh, yeah, I'm just you know, looking around the products here. And they will just you know, wish me and say bye, and you know, they'll go. But if I'm planning to buy something, I'll say, oh, yeah, I'm actually trying to find this. And usually that person will come with me, uh, guide me to the right direction, help me with the questions, or they'll find somebody who can help me, right? The second thing is, or the second category of visitors is when a regular customer walks in. So when someone who usually visits your store comes inside, you know who they are, right? So you can, for example, let's say Starbucks or a coffee shop that uh, you usually visit uh, on the way to the office in the morning. You walk in there, the, the coffee shop owner or the person there they might be greeting you by the name. Say, hey, John, how's it going? Uh, the usual, or you want to try the new stuff here? So that means you, know, you can greet them by the name, which makes the customer feel valued, and you know what, what they usually buy. You can ask them if they're getting it, or uh, you can suggest something new, right? In either cases, what happens is you know who is entering your store, and you can see them, you can see what they're doing, and you can also talk to them and help them to make a decision. Now, let's imagine the same scenario in an online store. And here, your traditional store is replaced by an online storefront, right? Now, do you know who your website visitors are? That's the first question. Yeah, of course, a website analytics tool can help you to find out some details, some statistics, right? Such as, they can tell you the total number of visitors on your website. It's just some, you know, uh, how many visitors were there uh, on a given last week or last month or this year, details like that. And where are they from? Like, which countries are they from or uh, states or cities? Those details can be found out. And also, the most popular pages based on the traffic, right? So since you know that there are people coming to your pages, you can track the traffic there. And based on that, you can find out the most popular pages. Now, is this information sufficient for sales? Can we bring in more revenue just by knowing these details? I would say this information would help the marketing team more than the sales team. Why? Based on these details, they can, of course, improve the quality of the website, and they can also make sure that they bring in more leads. So that is what they do. With this information, they make sure that you get more leads on your website. And that's where, as a sales rep, your responsibility starts, right? You have to talk to them. You have to convert those leads as a sale. But does the web analytics tool tell us when did a regular customer, or let's say a new customer, came online? Or what exactly were they doing while they were online? Or will it tell you how much time did they spend on each pages 
on your website. Unfortunately, all these details may not be available with a regular website analytics tool. So that's where we introduced this product called Zoho Sales IQ. So how many of you here attended the session about Zoho Sales IQ, just for the benefit of people who are not familiar with this product? Zoho Sales IQ is an online visitor tracking pla platform from Zoho, which will allow you to track your website visitors. With the help of Sales IQ, you can have a meaningful and relevant conversation with your website visitor. And it will also allow you to treat your customers or your website visitors the same way you would treat someone who is walking into your physical store, right? Now, some of you might be thinking, isn't Zoho Sales IQ, again, similar to a normal or regular web analytics tool? It's actually not. I have a few differences between a regular web analytics tool versus Zoho Sales IQ. So, the main purpose of analytics tools like Google Analytics or Kissmetrics, it's data gathering. And what it does is, it gives you information about or numbers of events that happened in the past, like last week, last month, last quarter, etc. And the data that you gather from this is anonymous. That means you will not have information about the identity of your visitors. And since you don't have clear information about what's going on, you will not have clear, you will not be able to take clear actions. Now on the other hand, an application like Zoho Sales IQ, instead of gathering the data, it allows you to engage with the customers because it will notify you when you have a visitor real time. It's more personal, that means you'll be able to identify who that person is. And based on what they are doing on your website and who they are, you can take actions immediately and you can convert that visit into a sale or, you know, you make, make sure that that person has all the questions answered. So that's Zoho Sales IQ. <clears throat> now, as a sales person, you might be spending most of your time in your CRM tool where information about your customers are, right? So you'll be using Zoho CRM to uh, do your daily follow-up activities, close the tasks, bring in more revenue. You may not have enough time to spend more time in Zoho Sales IQ to track your online visitors. So, just to overcome that, we have integrated Zoho CRM with Zoho Sales IQ. So what it does is, Zoho CRM categorizes the website visitors into three categories. So you can see the first one is customers. That means if a visitor is online with at least one closed worn potential, it will be considered as a customer. Then potential customers, people who have at least one open potential associated with them. And then there is leads and contacts. Actually, there is a fourth category that is unknown visitors, that is people who are totally new to your CRM system, right? Because the reason is Zoho Sales IQ will be able to track visitors online real time. And Zoho CRM has all the information about what is the relationship between that visitor and you as a business owner or a sales rep. So that's how it is done. Now, I'm going to walk you through a series of screenshots to give you an idea about what Zoho Sales IQ is and how is it going to help you. The first one right here is the CRM view for all the visits, right? So when you log into your Zoho CRM and after you set up the integration, and if there is a module called Visits Inside Zoho CRM, and when you go there, the CRM system will automatically categorize all the visit information as a lead contact or potential customers or Customers, right? So from here, you'll be able to find out who visited your website. And if you look closely, you'll find the names and some numbers there. So what are those numbers? Let's take a closer look. So if you zoom in, it actually says, so let's say this is a potential customer. It actually says who the person was, who the person was, the account, and also the total value of potentials associated with that person, the pages that they have visited, and also the time they have spent during their visits, right? It's a total time. 
Now, if you click on the name here to open the visit details, this is how it's going to look. So you'll find information about uh, the URL they visited, if they have used any search keywords, what kind of browser they are using. It will track everything. And on the right hand side, you can see information about them as a contact and an account and details about the potentials associated with that person. Right? And if you look to the center of the page, I have highlighted something there. So that says, and again, like there are three tabs there. The first one I have highlighted. It's called Pages Visited. So if you select the first tab there, it will display information about the pages that they have visited during their past visits. Next slide is for chat history. The second tab there, it will tell you information about all the previous chats. And the third one is Visit History. So it will give you information about all the information about the previous visits. When was that? What was the the pages that they visited and also the time spent during the visit. You can also find out that if they have chatted with someone at your company during those visits. Now, it's all good to have this information in Zoho CRM and what you see in there, it's about events that happened in the past. But how will you know when there is a visitor online when you are working in Zoho CRM? Simple. You will get an alert. So, when, once the integration is done and when someone is o online, you will be notified inside Zoho CRM that there is a visitor and you will get chat pops up, pop up similar to this. And you can see it's categorized as a new customer and also a potential customer. And right from this chat window, you will be able to find out all the details about any potentials associated and also the pages visited, right? Just remember the three categories we mentioned. CRM intelligently scans and filters all these contacts the same way. Customer online, potential customer online, and new visitor online. Now, how are we going to set up this integration, right? So we, we have to configure this to start tracking your visitors. Four simple steps. Step one, you have to enable visitor tracking in your Zoho CRM. For that, you can go to setup and you'll find an option called Zoho Apps and Add-ons. And under Apps and Add-ons, go to Zoho Apps and select Visitor Tracking. And you'll find this option if you are going there for the first time. You can click on that Enable button. Next page will allow you to choose a portal name for your Sales IQ account. If that name is not available, of course, you can try out different names and you can create the portal. The next section will allow you to choose the users who are supposed to have access to this feature. These are CRM users. And the final stage, it will give you a code which can be copied and embedded on your website to set up the tracking. So if you are the administrator of your website, you can do that by yourself. And if there is another person who is actually doing that, you will find an option that says send to webmaster. So if you do that, it opens an email window and it automatically copies the paste onto that email and you can send it to the right person. Once you do this, that's it. You can start tracking your visitors. Now, let's uh, have a quick demo on how to set this up. Right, now, to do that, you have to go to Setup. Under Apps and Add-ons, click on Zoho Apps, scroll down and select the option Visitor Tracking. Now, all you have to do is just click on this option called Enable. And uh, I have already created a Sales IQ portal in this account, so that's why steps two, step two was uh, skipped in here. And now, after you select a portal name, it will take you to this page where you can choose the option, push the new visitors as lead or a contact and also the assignment thing can be selected here. Another option is if you want to turn off the notification, you can also do that uh, by you know turning on and off this button. After that, click on save, that's it. You will have the code ready. And down at the bottom, you have an option called hide chat icon. What does this mean? So if you do not want your customers to start chatting with you, and if you only want you to initiate the chat, you can select that option. So customers will not see any chat icon on your website, right? And if you want to give that option to the customer, you can uncheck this box. Now, 
as I said, if you click on this option called send to webmaster, this window will pop up. You can just type in the email address of the webmaster or you can do it yourself. How? Simple. I have created a, a sample website here. So let me just go and show you how to do that. You edit the website, you go to the admin section of your website and you copy the code here and in Zoho Sites, how it works is you have an option to embed such codes. You click on that option, you will have two options, embed HTML or code snippet. So it's, it's a code snippet, right? So all you have to do is just copy and paste the code here and click OK. Once you do that, you, you know, save the changes, publish the website, that's it, you're done. You're a few seconds, it's uh, Saving the changes, now it's done, and now, after you publish uh, the website or save the changes, all you have to do is just click on this link here or just copy and paste the link onto a new tab. That's it. You are on the website and you should be able to track this visitor, that is, it's me in your CRM account. You go in there, if you look to the bottom right hand side, it says visitors online one. You click on that, since it's a new account and I don't have any information in here, it says it's an unknown visitor. And if you click on this icon here, it will tell you the actions that I have done so far in like the page, which is what I'm doing, which page am I on right now. The details can be found out from here. Now, if you would like to chat with this person, all you have to do is click on chat from here. It will take you to Zoho Sales IQ, where it, this visitor will be displayed on one of these rings of engagement, as we call it. And click on that. You will find additional details about the visitors over here. And let's start the chat. Hello. When you do that, this visitor will get a notification here. And Hello. Now you do that, I get a notification. Visitor has replied to this chat. Click on continue. So it opens the chat window here and you can continue chatting here. But now, while chatting, you make sure that you get the details of this person because it's, a, it's an unknown visitor. To do. Once you get the details, you will have this option right here on the top. And if you click on this edit icon, it will allow you to enter the first and last names here. So let's say, click on save. Once you save this contact inside Sales IQ, you have an option to push this details to Zoho CRM as a lead or a contact. And just click on add lead if it's a lead. That's it. You're done. You also have an option to convert a lead from here if you want. And if you go back to the visitors section, now you can see it has a name and Every time this person comes back online, you will be notified and you will also know the name and other details and previous visits of this person. So that's how we set up the integration between Zoho CRM and Zoho Sales IQ and that's how we can start tracking visitors online. So let me go back to this presentation here and by this we come to the end of the session. Thank you so much for attending the session and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.